The CSIRO is bringing Indigenous leaders and scientists from across the country together to draw up recommendations to try to improve Australia's response to climate change. The project has already prompted the CSIRO to change some of its statistical predictions on climate warming. Scientists are hoping the nation will benefit from Indigenous people's 60,000-year-old knowledge of adapting to changes in rainfall, fires and sea level rises. Even on Darwin's city beaches, locals know where to find a variety of bush tucker. That's a little, maybe a little overripe. Bush peanuts can be eaten straight off the tree. Mm, it does taste like peanuts. Peanut. Yeah. Knowledge of bush foods is just one of the things former Larrakee ranger Donna Jackson is proud has been passed down for generations. Another is the Larrakee people's 60,000-year-old history of adapting to climate change, including massive sea level rises. Knowing that Darwin Harbour was a freshwater valley 6,000 years ago, obviously our mob just slowly retreated. She thinks governments aren't paying attention to that history and aren't responding adequately to climate change. Let's get some measures in place to help people actually cope with what's, what's now here and what's coming, because this is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Scientists are also increasingly worried. As a Torres Strait Islander, I'm very concerned about the possibility, potentially, of um, families and communities um, having to leave because of, um, of the sea level rise that's uh, impacting on the islands and infrastructure. The CSIRO is bringing scientists and Indigenous people from all over Australia together to draw up recommendations on how governments should respond. I'm really hoping that the governments will listen um, to what the traditional owners are saying. They're the ones that are experiencing this um, out on country. The collaboration has already forced the CSIRO to revise some of its climate warming forecasts. The project leaders went to Alice Springs last year to tell traditional owners that within a decade they could expect 50 days a year over 40 degrees. What was really um, sobering was that the Central Land Council actually found that they had 50 days over 40 degrees this year. The CSIRO is hopeful of learning a lot more from Indigenous people. Science, I think, can really link well with people's Indigenous knowledge to make everyone better prepared for the changes. The scientists want to make sure it's a respectful exchange. The challenge is we've had Indigenous people saying to us, well, you took our land and you took our kids and now you want to take our knowledge too. Come on. It's a gap that, if bridged, will help scientists from all cultures learn from each other. Jane Barden, ABC News.